Hey guys, it's Lori with LM's Crafty Creations and I am here to share a mini album project with you. This is a new design with a new tutorial at the end of the um, review of the album and um, it's a 6x6 six six album. You can use your 6x6 six six paper pads to complete this album. Um, the only way, um, place you might have to fill in some additional like colored coordinating colored cardstock for your album is maybe on the cover, um, but that that's easily done. Um, what else? This is a Country Craft Creations design team project and I have linked um, the products down below that I have used for this project and you can purchase them all separately. I did use only one collection pack on the album. So here is the um, the packaging for it. This one is um, Doodlebug Lots of Luck and it is a really cute it, it's St. Patrick's Day themed. I think that if you were to do um, you might be able to get away with doing just like a friendship kind of themed album, um, but it does have a lot of shamrocks, but it also has like a lot of rainbows and things in it, so it's very cute. So here is my album. On the front cover, I have just put a strip, um, a piece of the design paper, and then I, this is design paper as well, and this is a sticker from the collection that I mounted on cardstock, and then I've also popped it up, which you probably can't tell in the video, but it is dimensional right here. I popped it up on some foam adhesive. On the spine, I used all of the beautiful colors of um, seam binding that's available in Tamara's shop that were provided to me, and I did it like I did my corset binding so um, I guess I'll show you that in the tutorial but anyway I've tied um, different colored bows all along the spine and I really like how that turned out because I wanted to use um, all the seam binding I could on the project and there's the back I love using this border paper on the back because it's just so fun and um, it has all the different designs on it so on the inside I have a, a front cover pocket just like I almost always do. I have mounted a sticker and kind of popped it up above the pocket. And then on the inside, I have just done some photo mats. This one's probably a four by five. And this one is a four by four. And I just used some of my additional stickers that I had left over after I finished the album to decorate the photo mats. Um, this one is a smaller version, sort of, of my Christmas album. Um, that seemed to go over really well and I really wanted to do a smaller type so the front cover looks just like that it's just smaller I've used a little cut apart that keeps these folds um, closed and they open up and then you have this space for a photo right here and then that just keeps it closed so it's really super simple and the look of it is really nice so this flips open to a large space and you can put photos on both sides and here I made these, I tore some of the extra paper I had and I just made these kind of collage kind of um, elements. You can tuck your photo behind there, so if I get <clears throat> a photo mat, you can tuck a 4x4 four four photo behind there and you have all of these cute, there's some fabric, this is a seam binding bow, just some sequins and then just stickers backed on cardstock is all it is. So I thought that turned out really cute. And flip the page. You have a side pocket right here with another photo mat with some stickers on the top of it. And then um, a place for a photo on top of the pocket. And then you have a place for a photo here where you could also um, stick something underneath this uh, matted sticker. And then on the back is just a simple pocket. And here is the cut aparts in this pocket. On this side, we have two cut aparts holding the uh, little doors closed and they open like so. And you have the cute um, dotted rainbow paper. And then flip it. And then on the side, here I did two side pockets like this. And here, again, I did the larger photo here on this side. And I cut this um, unicorn out of a cut apart that said happy birthday and stuck her on here with this matted sticker. So these are four by four photo mats. And then here I did another one of those little snippet things where I have, um, I used a piece of the design paper that was left over and then I put some stickers here, I layered them up. This is a piece of yarn. This back here is like elastic lace 
and then I have just three flowers with some rhinestone middles from my stash and then again this also lifts up so you could tuck your photo or her photo mat behind it and then here's the back page just with this cute cut apart and this beautiful rainbow paper I loved all the rainbows and just the colorfulness of this collection here is a cut apart and then open the doors and you have what I like to call the Lucky Charm paper inside. Very cute. And flip it. And again, I did the side pockets again where you could stick photo mats or just the photos. And you could also decorate these edges with some stickers if you wanted to. And turn the page. And I have another photo mat with a matted sticker. Um, this is a 4 by 4 photo, and then I put a strip of design paper here. Again, I think this is the last of the little decorations I did. On this one, I used the, the design paper in the very back, and then I put little scraps of, this is elastic lace or elastic ribbon. Um, this is elastic lace that I just tied around it. And then a couple of stickers that I matted on cardstock. Here's some bling right here, and then I stapled some seam binding using my little... Tim Holtz tiny attacher thing right there and then just like all the others you can slide that photo right underneath there and I just think that looks so cute with that collage okay so here is the next pocket and a little cut apart another cut apart this is my favorite page because I love ladybugs and it says hello sweet lady and this opens up this collection will be perfect for cards greeting cards as well um, if you make that, if you do that kind of thing. Um, I liked all the rainbows and the striped rainbow paper. It turned out really cute. Turn the page. This one I just left plain so you could put photos here. And then again, a larger photo here. This you can tuck your photo underneath it. And then I have, oops, a, um, a photo mat in here with some stickers on it. And then I did the pocket on the back with the border and we have two more so there's that best wishes would be great on a greeting card but I went ahead and stuck it in here anyway and then on my last pocket I kind of pieced together some of the paper there and then I have um, mounted a couple of stickers on cardstock and just added them here I think they're really cute I wanted to use them I only to use this on the front cover it was really cute so that's it. That's my simple little quick project. The page design is really easy. I did four pages in my album, as you can see. And so let's talk about how we made the pages. Let me stick this back in here so I don't forget where it goes. Okay, so this is going to be a quick and easy one. Uh, I have my trusty little notepad with the measurements to the side. It's going to be similar to how we made the Christmas album, if you made one of those. Um, for the first piece, you're going to take a piece of cardstock, let me get this out of the way, and cut it to 5 and a half by 11 inches. And you're going to score on the 11 inch side at 5 and a half, and then you're just going to fold it in half. I have little fibers here. Okay. So this is the front page right here, and this is that inside spread, and then we'll attach more on this side. So got that one where the opening is to the right. And next, we're going to do the gatefold flaps. So, so what these pieces say is three and a quarter by five and a half. Now to get them to where there was a, just a tiny bit of a gap, I didn't do exactly three and a quarter. Um, I did, let me show you on my scoreboard, I mean on my, I did, so there's the three and a quarter mark right there. I mean I did them just right in front of that three and a quarter mark, just barely. Not quite to the next line but just barely in front of it to make it just a, a teeny tiny bit shorter. I mean, I don't even know what that measurement is, but it's just a teeny tad bit away from the three and a, before you get to the three and a quarter inch mark. So that way, if you do it three and, um, what was it? I don't know what that is. 
I tried doing it three and an eighth and that was too much. It didn't work. So I mean just right before that three and a quarter inch mark. And then you're going to score, so you're going to cut this to three and a quarter by five and a half. And then you're going to score on the three and a quarter inch side at half an inch. And fold and you're going to do two of those. And I've already folded all my score lines. And I'm going to take my art glitter glue. If you're not familiar, this is art glitter glue. It's my favorite glue ever. It is sold at countrycraftcreations.com. However, in the winter time, it can't be shipped because it freezes. And so it won't be available for shipping again until springtime. So I have stocked up heavily on it. So we're just going to glue this end on the side, right on the side of that edge. And I'm going to put my glue here. And I'm going to place it here. And it looks like even mine right now, they're overlapping just a tiniest bit, which frustrates me. No, maybe it's just perfect. At the top, it overlaps. So, and then here's your gatefold right here. So you want them to lay almost exactly together. And this one overlaps just a little bit, but it, it really, that part doesn't matter. Um, you just don't want there to be, you don't want them to overlap a lot. Um, and you don't want there to be a huge gap either. So that's, there's a happy medium there. Cause then we need to put our pockets on and they need to be, um, they need to line up correctly as well. So let's do the pockets. So let's put this to the side and you're going to cut two pieces at two and three quarters by two and three quarters square. And then you're going to score on two sides to make an L shape. So I've done this here and then I've done this here because my pockets are going to go like this. Okay. So once we have that and we've scored on two sides to make the L shape on the bottom, we are going to miter the corners. And I'm going to go ahead and fold on the score lines for, for both of them. I have little black ribbons everywhere. I don't know where this yarn came from. Okay, so now I'm going to face them the correct direction. These go this way and this goes this way. Okay, so keep in mind when you're doing the pocket for this side you need the L to go this way like this. And then for this side you need to L, the L to go the other way like this. So they're both open right here like mirror images, I guess. Okay, so now we're going to take our ruler and our pencil and with the um, hinges folded, we're gonna measure over on the first one an inch and make a mark. We're gonna do that the same way on the bottom. One inch, or actually it's on the side, not the bottom. So here I have two measurements. You see there's a little dot there and a little dot there and now we're just going to join them together with our ruler and pencil and we're going to cut this off. Okay, and that gives us our little angled pocket and I like to go in and erase this because it will show if you don't. So there's my angle pocket. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip this one over this way and line it up. And I'm going to just use that one to measure this one. So that makes it super easy. If you want to measure it exactly, you can. But that's what I do. So now I have my two little corner pocket things and I'm going to take them and attach. So here's my glue. I'm 
I'm going to attach them on the bottom corner. Right there. And now on the other side. Okay. Okay, so now we have our gatefold pocket with our little pockets inside here. So now you're going to open it this way and then there's your inside spread. You can use your design paper to make pockets if you want like I did, but that's all I did on these two pages. I just covered them with paper and you're going to flip it over one more time to the back and now let's do the other part. So I'm going to set this aside for a minute and let's talk about this piece. You're going to cut this piece to six and a half, actually six and a half by nine and three quarters. And you're going to score on the nine and three quarter inch side at four and a quarter. Um, let's see. And then you're going to rotate it and score on the six and a half inch side at half an inch on each end. So there's a half inch score mark here and a half inch here. Okay. So. You want to go ahead and fold this larger flap in on the smaller one. Okay, so that gives us this. This is going to be our binding pocket. So what we want to do, I'm going to use a pencil just to draw here. I want to cut this piece off because this is going to be a flap. And you don't have to angle it or anything. You can go straight down and cut. I'm going to cut that off completely because I don't need these flaps. So I'm going to go directly up on that score line and I'm going to turn it and I'm going to cut this off. Okay. Let me give it a little bit. You want a little bit of a trim there. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to follow the score line, which isn't exactly where my pencil mark was, which it should have been. And I'm going to cut this off, following the score line. But you're going to leave the flaps on the pocket. So this is what you should have when you're done. So now we're going to fold these flaps in on both sides. Alright, and then I like to fold this in like so. I'm going to add my glue right here and I'm going to take my base page. This is the back of it. It opens, let's see, there's the front and then it opens and then there's the back. I'm going to add my glue. And I'm going to line this up. Okay, and stick it down. I'm going to open this up, make sure everything is measured up nice and neat before I, before it all gets stuck down really good. And so here's your pocket, and this is what you're going to use to attach to your binding. It opens up here. And then here's your flap to decorate as you wish, and then on the back, we're going to add this pocket. This pocket is cut to two and three quarters by six and three eighths. You're going to score on the two and three quarter inch side at half an inch, and then on the six and three eighths of an inch side at half an inch on each end. And go ahead and miter those corners. <clears throat> and let's fold on the score lines. Oops. Okay, and I'm just going to add this right to the bottom. And I don't remember. I may have used an envelope punch board on this one to do a notch. Did I do that or not? I did. I did the notch here. <clears throat> so to do the notch, if you're not familiar, then you would just take the measurement in the middle of this pocket, 
with the flaps folded in, which would be, if it's six and three eighths, it's gonna be a little less than two, two and a half, two. I'm on camera, so I can't I can't think straight because this just I don't know blows my mind. I'm on camera. A little less than two and three quarters is what it is. You just find the middle, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So you find the middle of the pocket, you line that up with the measurement on um, your envelope punch board, and then you just punch it, and that's it. So this would be like two and um, a little less than two and three quarters. And that's how I did that. And you do the same thing when you choose to mat it. Whatever the mat is going to be, you take half of that and then you line it up on your envelope punch board to that measurement and then you punch it in the middle. <clears throat> so I like to do that. It makes your pockets look a little bit more decorative. So that's it. That's that's the tutorial. It's super simple. The page style is simple. It's easy. It doesn't take a lot of paper. Um, definitely less than a package of cardstock. Um, everyone always wants to know how much cardstock I use. I have such a hard time figuring that out because when I'm designing, you know, sometimes I mess up and have to start over and and I just don't keep track of how much cardstock I use. So I do apologize for that. Um, less than a package for sure. So as long as you have a package of cardstock on hand, you're in good shape. So let's talk about the spine for a minute. So to do this spine, it's similar to the way I did my corset binding. So if you're familiar with that, then I did it the exact same way, but instead of weaving the um, seam binding, I just tied individual bows. So if you're not familiar with that, I will show you right here. Can you see that? So what I did is I covered the spine and then I took a strip of, what size is this? This is about half, three quarters of an inch. Is it? Hold on, I, I just can't tell the measurement. Yeah. So I did, I took three, uh, two, I'm sorry, two three quarters of an inch strips and I punched uh, holes in them and added eyelets. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven holes. Now they are about the first hole is about a quarter of an inch up, and then after that it's every half inch it looks like is how I did it. So I started out the first hole at a quarter of an inch, and then after that I did every hole at a half an inch. And I just punched an eyelet. So when I was done with that, I took my glue and I glued this strip on right here. And then I just added my seam binding after that. I did this on both sides. So there's one on this side and there's also a similar strip on this side with the holes punched. Okay. So they're just strips. You can see right there where the two strips are and there's a different pattern of design paper behind there. And then I just took the ribbon and tied it into a bow, and that that's it. It's super simple, super easy, and I think it the the look of it is really cute. Um, I like how it turned out. So <clears throat> I hope that that is um, that explains it enough for you to be able to do it. If you have any questions, please feel free, as always, to let me know. Um, so if you like the collection, certainly go to countrycraftcreations.com and uh, follow my links down below. Um, all the measurements that you need for all the pages, the chipboard, and everything like that is also in the description box down below. If you don't know how to make an album cover, I have that on my channel as well, like a general um, album cover tutorial on my cover as well as a general binding tutorial. So I've included, let's see, I forgot to write down the measurements for the binding on this one. So I will write that down and include that um, in the description box down below. They're just not on my notes right here as I'm filming, but they will be when you're watching the video. So I hope you like it. Uh, I think it was a fun design and um, it's a cute, simple, easy um, gift if you like that. Um, so thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.